Hi, students. Logan Phillips for Professor P, your guide to technology and information technology or business and information technology. For this video, we'll be talking about your SimNet exams. So we've done our SIM book, we've done our SIM pass, we've done our guided project, we've done our independent project. We've gone through two or three different chapters, and now we're down to finishing up a module, and we need to take an exam. So once you've clicked on your Blackboard site, you've gone to your assignment module, you clicked exam, you're going to open up into something that looks like this. Now, all of your exams are a variety of different questions. Some of them might be as low as five or six questions. Some of those might be up to 75 questions. It really depends on what module and pieces you're working on and what class you're in. Now, these does, it does not matter if you're in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Access, Office, or Concept Student. Our exams all function the same way, just the content inside the exam changes with each class. So for the exams, we have three attempts on every exam. If you run out of attempts, you need to let me know, and I will work with you, make sure you understand the material before I give you more, and then we can give you more attempts as you're needed. Uh, the time limit on your exams is unlimited. Uh, you have open book, open note, uh, so feel free to reference your textbooks, your SIM books, your SIM pass. Um, feel free to reference your notes that you've taken inside those systems. Those are completely available to you. Now, once you've gotten to this, it will show you your different pieces of information. It'll show you how many attempts you have, the scores on any of the attempts you've done, um, and then it will allow you to take the exam. In the, middle of the in the middle of the screen, you will see a blue Take Exam button. Once we've clicked on that, uh, we'll open up. We'll give you your name, your student ID, your time available, attempts per question. So notice I said you had three attempts on every exam. Inside each exam, you have three attempts on each individual question. So if you get it wrong the first time, you do have an additional two times after that to fix your error before you can move on. Or if you want to skip, you can also do that. Uh, you do have to agree to the plagiarism academic dishonesty policy uh, before you take this exam. Just remember that if you do academic dishonesty, plagiarism, any of that type of integrity violations, you will receive a zero in the class. You will be turned to the college. It's a big deal. Don't do it. So we start our exam, and it's pretty simple. This is a format that you've seen multiple times now. You saw it in your SIM book. You saw it in your SIM path. You saw it in your lessons. We're going to ask a question in the top left-hand corner. So we have format the text into two columns with the left column narrower than the right column. Use a column present, preset. So we have our data. We have a simulated environment, either for Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or Access. We have the step we want to require. Um, we have the amount of questions in the top right hand corner. We can pause, we can submit if we're just done with the exam. And we, of course, we have if we do it correctly. So let's go here and do this very quickly. Layout. There we go. Columns, two columns. We see it did it incorrectly. If you do it incorrectly, you will get an incorrect answer. But notice that I do get moved to the second question, but I can always go back and take my step two or three to get back in here and do the uh, problem again. And whatever you want to do, I'm just clicking buttons, making things wrong right now. Once you've hit three attempts on that, it will lock up. And so I'm going to do that again. And I can now no longer go back to that question. You can see I can see that there's 50 questions, but I cannot access it. So once you've done the question three times, it is over. And if we keep on through the test, you can move forward through the questions on the right-hand side. Um, answer the questions as you see fit. I'm just going to click on some random things, get it incorrect so we can get through this. Ba -ba -ba. If you get tired of the exam, we can hit submit and it will take us to our grades. Now this is where it's important so you can go back and reference those textbooks, reference those re our materials, so you can learn from what you're doing. And remember that in this environment, I'm asking you to do things extremely specifically. Uh, while there might be 50 different ways to accomplish the task, I can only teach you one or two, and the textbooks and the software can only grade you on one or two. So I need you to do it the way that I taught you how to do it in the SIM path and the uh, SIM book. Uh, so we come here, we can see our score. Uh, of course, I clicked on a bunch of random stuff, 0, 050, I did my first attempt, and it will show me my question. If I really don't understand what I did wrong, I can then come over here to learning, and it will open up a custom lesson plan specifically for that question, so I can go back and take the test again and get that correct. It will show you exactly where it was in the textbook, where it was in the SIM path. Let me show you and guide me and let me try. 
We can close that out on the right hand side, exit, and we're back into our exam. So we can come through here and we can see all the pieces we did wrong, the steps that we took to do them wrong. We can learn from our mistakes. And if you're ready to do it again, all we can do is we hit our back button. And we can take that exam again. And same thing, it's going to ask a bunch of questions. Go in, do the exam however you see fit, answer the questions to the best of your ability, get wrong, get right, whatever you need to do. Submit your exam, and it's going to bring you right back to this piece. Notice this exam does repeat. The questions can change out. They will change out the order, and they'll ask for slight variations on each thing. So you're not guaranteed to get the exact same question again, but you'll get something in the same vein. So you can do a lesson if you really just blew an exam and you realize that, man, I, I don't know anything. Up on the top right-hand side, you can create a custom lesson for yourself so that you can learn this material specifically and launch that custom lesson and come back through and it will teach you each individual piece in order of what you got wrong so that you can go back and take that exam again and get a perfect score. I guess that is your exams. Uh, they are your highest point value items in the class, so make sure you're doing them. Um, they are based off of your SIM pass and your SIM book, uh, but they do follow that same format where you must click in the simulated environment and the organization and the navigation should be pretty simple to you once you've gotten to that point. Of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, all you have to do is reach out. My email is logan.phillips1 at tulsacc.edu. I am here for you. I want to hear from you. Guys, I hope you have a very fruitful day. If you have any questions about your exams, just tell me, and I'll gladly walk you through it. If you hit some snag and you've taken it three times and you really can't accomplish it, Send me an email. We'll work it out. We'll make a custom lesson. Once you get through that lesson, I'll open up a bunch more exam options for you so you can take it some more times. You guys need me? Reach out.